Okay, so just where'd you go? Why aren't you working? I definitely forgot this part. So make sure you kind of add this to your mental notes. So please pay attention. How many of you are watching the AP Classroom videos consistently? <laughs> nope. Okay, well, this was this is on there. Please look. Hopefully you are okay with an intermediate being produced and consumed in an, one in the next steps. We're all right with intermediates, right? Yeah. All right, NO wasn't produced. It was there to start with. We usually call that a reactant. But look here, NO in the second step was also given out. So it's not represented in the overall reaction. So we had um, O3 plus O goes to 202, correct? The overall. You know what bugs me when I say shush and they're like, well, I was saying this. Well, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> like, thank you. <laughs> no, that was just to the world. Oh. Not. It was in general, but just. Okay. So do you see NO in the overall reaction at all? No, no pun intended. All right, but it's also not an intermediate because that means it was produced and consumed. So the only other option is it's a catalyst. So if you see something that looks like a reactant, but then is also a product, that's a catalyst. It helped the process happen, but it was not actually consumed itself in the reaction. You okay with that? So like a stapler, it helps the stapling happen, but usually isn't consumed. Um, all right, let's, I feel okay about that. That was the only one that had a catalyst in its example. Okay, here's uh, more information on catalysts. You've learned about catalysts in biology before. What did you call them? Enzymes, good job, enzymes. Mm. So this is our last new topic and it's not that new. Catalysts increase the rate of a reaction by decreasing the activation energy of the reaction. All right, a stapler is designed to do a very specific function. It's designed to staple things. And how it works is you put the staples in right here. Mm -hmm. Then the spring pushes the staples that way, correct? And then there's a little metal straight piece that as long as it's not bent, it doesn't wedge for life. That piece pushes a staple off of the whole group and pushes it down. And then this piece folds it. Now, all those things could be done by hand, right? It just takes forever, it takes forever, it, it, it's hard. So this thing isn't really part of like, it doesn't get used up, but it helps the process happen way faster. You okay with that? I bet that sounds good on YouTube. You're welcome world. I haven't posted anything in a week or two anyway, so who knows? Yeah, I bet your followers Yeah, my merch store is just shut down now. So no one's lighting it up. Um, okay, anyway, so catalyst change the mechanism by which the process occurs. So if we can change how it does this, we can lower the activation energy and thus get the reaction to happen faster. You okay with that? All right, one way a catalyst can speed up a reaction is by holding the reactants together and helping bonds break. Easy enough. So who remembers our amazing opportunity we had to vote 36,000 times for Kylie Hatfield? Remember that? Okay, how many did it a lot? In that process, there was a rate determining step. What took the longest? Refreshing or finding her name? 
was annoying. I was in the same spot. It was annoying. I wasn't in the same spot. Okay, so that was the rate determining step that took the longest. All right, when we really got it going, remember when I said do one thing and move on? Was that this class? Anyone remember that? Okay, then it was a different class. We had every iPad around this circle, and you were supposed to do one thing and nothing else. So one person would like push vote. The next person would hit, or they'd center it for Kylie's name. The next person would select Kylie. Then the next person would hit submit or whatever. Like we just had a machine. Okay. When Dallin and I, we voted a bunch together. We had three iPads and I would just always make sure that underneath his finger was the word vote. That was like my job. All right. I, I don't know. You're like, why waste your time? I don't know. It was fun though. Okay. It was kind of a catalyst. It made the process happen faster if we had something else to do the longest part. If someone else was there to find Kylie's name and slide it to you, you were ready to go every single time. Does that make any sense? Kind of dumb, but it worked. Um, Derek was just looking at it for this week, and there's two girls from the same school on that list, and one had 12,000 votes, and one had 71. That's some controversy there. Yeah. It, <laughs> hopefully it does. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I hope they're just friends forever. But anyway, moving on. Okay, enzymes are catalysts in biological systems. All of you are alive because enzymes in your body are working. If they didn't, you would die. All right. All right. There's words. These are not in AP, but whatever. The substrate fits into the active site on the enzyme, much like a key fits into a log. So their design and enzyme is there just to catalyze one out of millions of reactions that go on in your body. All right. It will just be there until the right puzzle piece comes along. They enter, they lock, and then they break apart into their new products. It's really, that's a biology thing. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, if you buy like a diet, Dr. Pepper, pepper, you will see a warning on it. It says contains keno animal, whatever's they're called. I can't remember, but there's some people in this world that don't have the ability to process that because one of the enzymes is missing from their body and that stuff is poison to them and can kill them. So it's, it's in a lot of diet gums. Um, it's in diet, Dr. Pepper and a few other drinks. So you, if you had that issue, you would know it for sure because you would always check labels to make sure there wasn't that fake sugar. That is a picture of, what is that crap called? I used to know it. There you go. Sounds good to me. Oh, I remember that lab. Probably. Well, the worst thing we ever did in that class. You're welcome. Gotcha. But it's, it's just showing the breakdown how it's a lot faster. Well, good. Sounds good. Hey, look at that. Oh. Why? That means we're done with chapter 14. Well, we're done. I could test right now. Who wants to test today? Preston, I knew someone wants to. Okay. The rest of the hour is review. So put a line in your notes and say test review. What about them? She's just naming the streets in Ogden, if anyone's confused. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we ready? Test review? Lots of chatter. When you come in and failed your test, Tom takes mental notes of who doesn't pay attention. And you come to B time, you're like, I know, I don't get this. I'm like, yeah, I know, you don't get it because you didn't pay any attention. So, say dang Mormons? You're recording me. Oh, Corbin. Sounded similar. Okay, here you go. Try this problem. Draw and label a reaction coordinate diagram that tracks the progress of an exothermic reaction that has an initial energy of 20 
an activation energy of 15 and an energy change of six. Ready, go. If you can do this, you can do one on the test. You can. You don't have to. I hate when that happens. What are these sophomores doing? What? I was looking at a picture from Bio, and there's this picture where David just like stacked up every single school in Notre Dame. I remember those. So impressive. It's so impressive. So 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 I have to take a picture of it. What are they doing? Look. I've never seen anything weirder in my life. <laughs> There's easier ways to walk. I am so excited to take AP chemistry. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not it. It's not worth it, man. Uh, oh my, my, uh, I don't regret what was the point? What's the point of all that? Are you so excited for that? No, not from what Miller says. <laughs> various sculptures that we made that's beautiful i know okay i'm done hopefully you are okay that's how you should do it easy enough that is a 14 oh my bad because it's 20 minus six. It's the change. It's not from 35. It's from the initial. Okay, you don't have to do this, but the bottom one says a dash line if a catalyst was used. It looked like this smaller bump. It still start and end at the same level. Easy enough. Okay, I'm just, I can't. <laughs> His class is distracting me. Who is studying today? His name's Andrew Miller. He's been there all day. I don't know. All right, next, harder. Here we go. Okay, it's 1210. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to do this. And I'm going to subtract a minute every time I have to shush you. Ready, go. There is a test question exactly like this on the test. Is this one where you put in the table? No, it's not. What? It's all right. I should have to suffer. There, here's one, they're just around. Yep, there's one. The other day I had to bring in, I didn't have to, me talking doesn't count. I brought in like 10, 12 to 14 year olds because they wanted to like watch chemistry demonstrations on a Wednesday night for fun. And we walk in and you know what their favorite thing was? Playing on my calculators. Yeah, they went ham. What did they do? I have no idea, but they ignored me. I'm blowing crap up and they're typing on calculators. <laughs> but my, those people are unique. I'll just put it that way. One of them is my own ch child. He might be the most.
Bring up there. You can use them on the free response, but not on the multiple choice. You sure can. <laughs> Why not? You paid ninety dollars. As long as you don't distract someone, you can waste your ninety dollars. If anyone finishes in twenty minutes, they're going to fail it. Yeah, even if it's what's his face, who's really smart, Bill Nye. Sal Khan. You just can't finish them that fast. I should pause this actually. All right, let's work through it together. So this is where you use initial concentrations and rate to find the overall rate law. So you may remember you look for somewhere where one is held constant and one is changed. So if you look here between one and two, NO is held constant, but H2O from here to here is doubled, right? So here to here, does my number double or quadruple? It doubles. So if this is 2x and this is 2x, then my exponent must be a 1. So h2 in the rate law will be equal to the first, or raised to the first. Everyone okay with that? Who had that right? Raise your hands. Okay, most people. All right, next. So we'll look from here to here. All right. We were 2 x here. This might be hard for people to see, but this is basically a 3, and this is a 12, if that helps. So was it doubled? Nope, it was quadrupled. So what makes a 2 become a 4? If it's squared, right? So that would have been NO. Fair enough. Who had that right? Raise your hands high, because I'm all the way back here putting my feet back. So most of the left side of the room did not have it right. Timmy, hmm, you're off the man crush list. Sorry, man. You'd been there for so long, too. <laughs> okay, I'm joking, Tim. <laughs> Am I allowed to say what I said? Probably not. Um, <laughs> Tim's basically family. He does the same events all my kids do. I've been to more, watched him do more track than my own children. <laughs> I was there when he tested fake negative or positive for COVID. Remember that day? <laughs> Tim and I have been through it together. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to rewrite this. K equals rate divided by H2. You're welcome. Okay, so to find K, I just take the top row and plug all this information in to my rate law. Is everyone okay with that? All right, then, um, then I just got what number? I don't know, what was it? Five? Oh, 5,000, okay. I never actually did this, I'm sorry. Part two here, was this up here. And then part one would have been the one and the two. And they would expect you to write it. This is from an AP test. If it's ever typed up nice and clear like that, and especially if it uses Roman numerals, that's, that means I stole it from a previous test. So you should have written for one, you should have written H2 to the first, NO2 to the second. Then you should have written rate equals K H2 N O squared. You with me? Okay. For experiment two, calculate the concentration of NO remaining when exactly one half of the original amount of H2 had been consumed. 
All right, everyone wants to use the rate law for this, but you don't. Yep, you, you underthink this one. So you have to look at the balanced reaction. You see how they have the same coefficient? Uh-oh, I got to sneeze. Yep, okay. So everyone, since they have the same coefficient, their rate of change will be the same. Because if I use up one of these, I'm gonna use up one of those. Are you okay with that concept? So in experiment two, calculate the concentration of NO in half of the original H2 is gone. So I divide this in half, that's a 0.1. And since it has the same coefficient, I divide that in half and it'd be not 0.1, sorry, 0.003. Okay, so it's, it's half of what it originally was. Now, if, if this was a three and a two, then you'd have to do like multiply it by two thirds or multiply it by three halves. Okay, and we've, we've done that before. Kind of with me? We're gonna do this a lot later because in chapter 15, we're gonna learn about what we call ice tables. We've already done an ice table, haven't we? All right, so, oh, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Okay, sorry. Good thing I came to the ice table because then I realized I did it wrong. Uh, did anyone have 0.005? No, so we better explain this because I just screwed it up myself. Are you ready? It's okay. I was confusing. So for right. So forget everything I just said for a second, okay? And come back here. So good thing I was like, hey, we'll do these eventually. Let me erase this so it's more clear. All right, I apologize. So this was our H2 right here. And this was our NO, or was it NO2? All right. And our coefficients, we write the balanced equation in these. So we had two plus two, and we had an arrow, and then we have, a, we don't care. Okay, so initially we had 0 0.002. Everyone with me? So it said we would have half of H2 left over. So half of 0 0.002 is 0 0.001. So the change was equal to 0 0.001. Since these have the same coefficients, the change is the same, and they're negative, I should say. The change is the same for NO, and you subtract 0 0.001. And that makes sense, sorry, because if you would have had equal amounts, what I said before would have worked, but we didn't have equal amounts. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Now, let's pretend we had a three here and a two here. You okay with that? So if this is a three and this is a two, are you okay that the change, if this is three and this is two, that the change of NO is 1.5 times the change of H2. So then you would say you would have 1.5 times whatever the change was, and then you'd subtract that. You okay with that? And if you don't, you're like 1.5, okay, well don't. It's three to two ratio times that change. Okay, we'll do a ton of these in chapter 15. So if you're lost right now, don't worry, we're going to hammer, hammer, hammer on these. But it's a good way to answer that question that we weren't quite ready for and that I did wrong myself. Okay, this letter D, describe the appearance of nitrogen gas to the disappearance of hydrogen gas. Okay, so we come here, we have, I'm going to erase all this, we have nitrogen, and it was hydrogen, right? So look at the screen. You would need to say that nitrogen appears at one half the rate 
H2 disappears. Do you understand where that sentence comes from? It's the stoichiometric application of our rates. It's stoichiometry means we're just using the coefficients. So one nitrogen appeared for every two that disappeared. So the appearance, oh, I, whatever, N2 appears at one half the rate H2 disappears. Okay, tell your partner this same sentence for water and nitrogen monoxide. Okay. Okay, so they would disappear and appear at the same rate, correct? Okay, I got a question. In this balanced equation, what substance appears or disappears the slowest? Nitrogen. It's the one with the smallest coefficient. That's going to be on your test. It's just going to ask it the highest, and you just find the highest coefficient. Should be really easy. Okay, this is a really good question to see if yesterday went okay. The following sequence of elementary steps is proposed for the reaction. Based on the data presented, which of the above is the rate determining step and explain your reasoning? Does anyone know what the answer is? Nope. I guess three. Not three. Second is the correct one. Okay, well, I'll show you how I knew it. Everyone look. The rate law said that it was K and it was NO squared, right? And H2 to the first. So the slow step cannot happen until we've had two NOs react and one H2. So here's two NOs, but have we gotten to an H2 yet? No, we don't get a single H2 until we're here. So based on the rate law and this proposed mechanism, we would say step two is the slow step. Okay, this would be my intermediate. Intermediate. And then based on this, I should have two NO. I can see them right here. This is the overall reaction, not the rate law, plus H2 and H2, so that's 2H2, goes to N2 plus 2H2O. Does that match my overall reaction at the very start? Sure does. Does this mechanism show this rate law? It sure does if the second one is the slow. Okay, got confused. So we're... I, I was looking for 2NO and 1H2, so I'm sure what I was doing. Yeah, don't do that. Someone else, who said they got it backwards like that earlier? Don't switch them. Okay, tell your partner, if, if this was the slow step, what would change up there? All right, H2 would have been a two as well, right? Because then we would have had a second H2 colliding. Okay, who feels fairly confident in their ability to answer that type of question? Raise them high. Fairly confident. All right, bummer. That's only like half. All right. Let's, let's try some of these that will be multiple choice like. The initial concentration of reactant in first order reaction is 0.27. The rate constant is 0.75. What's the concentration after 1.5 seconds? So what do I need to use to answer this question? In real life. Ah, the integrated rate law, right? which I think, I don't even have it memorized. I think it's the LN of A naught. Is that correct, anyone? Or is it AT? This is the T equals negative KT plus the LN of A naught. Whoops, the zero is supposed to be lower, not there. 
Okay, is that correct? Yep. Okay. So yes, yeah, Seth. Yeah, you're gonna have a sheet with a ton of stuff on it. Okay, so now I just plug in the initial concentration. That's a naught. So I have the ln of 0.27 plus negative k. It tells me is 0.75, right? And the time is 1.5. So it's really just E raised to whatever this thing ended up being, correct? And anyone type that in for me? Uh -oh. Not 0 0.09? Beal, you got 0 0.09? Yeah. All right, I'm going to call it good then. Aisley, what'd you get? 2.5. All right, I'm going to call it good enough. Nice. Okay. See if you can do this one quick, quick, quick. Yeah, this is a, a one minute problem right here. You, sh you should already be done, Abby. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> I just like her freaking out. It makes me feel better about myself. Rollins and I are twins, but I think I hurt Rollins' feelings yesterday, but I cannot tell you why. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember being there. I don't know. Finish the problem. All right, good. Uh, I appreciate it. The exponent technically should have been right here, not that anyone really cares. Okay, there's your answers. Who agrees? Everybody? All right, my friends. What? Not everyone agreed. Aisley had a way wrong. Just kidding. Can I explain it? Aisley, do you have a question? Okay. So you find anything that's on both sides and you can cross it out. Then you add. So you had 1H2 plus 2H, or sorry, ICLs. Then your arrow, you had one I2 left and two HCLs. The intermediate is the thing we cross out. Then if this is slow, we only include the reactants involved and we use the exponents to tell us how many of each reactant were involved. 
So there's only one H2, so that's why this is a one, only one ICL, so that's why that was a one. All right, we've done a problem similar to this. Why don't you try this pretty quick, see if you can get it. Yeah, zero. Yeah, close enough for me too. <laughs> it's because it's ugly numbers. Yeah. It's not that bad though. Your face is low. <laughs> 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 it's just so fun all right let's do this because you either got it or you're lost so first off what do we know about b when it's when it's doubled the rate doesn't change so b is a zero correct all right, A is a square. Yeah. Now follow. So this is what I would do. I'd look like here to there. You okay with that? And then I'm just gonna call this three. And so is this a six? Why is it not a nine? It's a nine, nine right? So this is around 27. So how does a three become a 27? It becomes a nine and then you square it again. So you with me? It's a three squared. Okay. If you, if you divide it, that comes out perfectly. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Okay, so now we're here. How do we find K? We just plug in the top row or whatever row you feel like um, with these values and this law and we end up with what? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna put in a B, right? because it all becomes a one. So my K is equal to rate over A squared. Oh, oh, I Everyone okay with that? And what does that end up being? I don't know. 38? Ish. Good enough for the people I date. All right, next. Yeah. We just did one. This is integrated rate loss. So I'm going to move on. Oh, okay, way to flex. I know. Someone will get it wrong tomorrow, though, Tim. Not tomorrow. Eat it. I mean, Monday. Fine, whenever we take this test. <laughs> Just the next time I see that I'm not in a driver's ed car, crying to myself. All right, negative K, we all right with that? K is always positive. No, it's a multiple choice. It's like K, negative K, one over K, negative. No, 
You're good. Okay. Six minutes. Let's take about two minutes to do this. Well, that's kind of cute to watch. That's mesmerizing. Oh, I thought you were like sitting there going to No. Nope. That just put me to sleep. Oh, what? Rock a bye, Tom. All right, here we go. It's E, right, Beal? Yeah. He's like, why did I even read the rest? It's E. Okay, we've done these. The second one, it says second overall, that means all of it's second, right? Yeah, second overall means you add all the exponents and it equals two. Okay. This is the last style of question you'll have in your exam. We've gone over every style of question. Does this one look familiar? The integrated rate law? Yeah. Um, you don't need it on here, but you will have it on the test. No. You do need it for F and G, I guess. The first order is whether the graph is linear or not. Oh, you're right. Well, you you use linear regression in your calculator to find that. So go to stat calc four and hit enter a bunch of times. Okay, due to there being two total minutes left, does anyone have a graph yet? Which one is linear? The down one. So this is the linear one, correct? Which means it's what order? It's first order. You okay with that? The value of the rate constant then, you go to stat calc four and hit enter a bunch of times and you'll get a negative value and make that a positive. Does anyone have that number? Uh oh. Okay. What would the half life of this reaction be? 0. 0.693 over 0. 0.05. Oh, oh that's right. 13.8. Okay. Minutes or seconds? Does it even say? Uh, I'll just assume it's seconds. Okay. You'll have the equation for half life. But for first order, it's just T one half is 0. 0.693 over K. All right, not a trick question, but some kids think it is. What would it be if you doubled the initial concentration? The same thing. The same. We're not changing the composition. Yeah, is A not anywhere in this reaction? No. In a first order reaction, the initial concentration is not important. 
Okay, then this would be integrated rate law, both of these. Yes. What'd you get? 001? What'd you get, Danny? They got a different slope than we did. Probably have, you're probably on a different thing. Oops. Yeah, you're you got L3. Yep. So she had a different number and she was just plotting the wrong ones. Uh, I don't know. I would use one of mine then. Okay, I will see you Tuesday when we test. We're testing Tuesday. Tell your partner. Testing Tuesday. Good. Thank mm -hmm. you.